Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy. Hey, everybody. Hello. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing today? I'm going to just sew my paper. First I'll say hello to everyone. Sorry I'm late. Two seconds before I went to start, Tigger started bugging me to go out and he had just been out like an hour ago. Apparently he had to go again. Hi Sandy and Ray and Gail and Susan and Laura and Teresa and Sarah and Sherry. And Sandy and John, hello. And Miss Barbara. And Christine I think I said hi to Gail and hi Renee and Laura and Marion and who else did I miss hi River City and Mina and Jeannie and Elizabeth hello and Kathy hello and if I missed anybody hello is everybody ready to play the game the game of life I need a brush that's what I need where is my brush at hmm. my brush is missing well, that's weird. Oh no, it's not. It's stuck back here. I always use this one, which is like a hot mess to put gesso on with. Hi, Karen. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Tamara. Hi, Diana. lump in my gesso. I got lumpy gesso. So is anybody else feeling really tired today? Because <laughs> I'm definitely feeling really tired today. I got plenty of sleep. I just feel, I don't know, very tired. I don't really feel great. I did, well, I felt worse earlier. But, I mean... Now I just feel kind of tired. I'll wake up. Where's Janie? Did Janie not see that I was going early today? Or maybe she's still at her friend's house. Oh, oh wait, yeah, because it's early for her. I forgot. So she might be at her, uh, at her friend's house that she's helping out yeah it's a little I did it a little earlier today than normal I know why I feel this way. It's because I need my shot, but I can't get my shot till Tuesday, so I have to suffer till then.
Yeah, it's humid here too, but luckily my air conditioning makes it so that it's not really, it's not humid in the house. So I keep it, I keep it fairly low. playing along with us today. Hi Kathleen. Yeah, this is gesso that I put put on there. You don't have to do that, but I do it. Um, you're playing along today, John. Awesome. And Barbara's playing, and Tamara's playing, and Teresa. Hi, Teresa. Teresa's playing. Christine is playing. Kathleen is watching. <laughs> you need to unpack your things. <laughs> Kathy's playing, she thinks. You had a bad day, you're not playing. Well, that's the perfect day to, to play is when you have a bad day because it'll make your bad day better. Yeah, but I understand when you have a bad day and it's just, you just don't feel like doing anything. And Laura's playing. Is there anybody that's never played before that's here and either you're playing or you just you want to know more about what we're doing? Tanya's playing. Oh, you can't sit. Oh, that's not good. What about a pillow or something? No, not working. You're watching while you pack, Ray. Awesome. What are you packing for? Are you moving? Are you going on vacation or something? I'm not explaining to you, uh, Irina. Tell me I've never played. You lie, girl. You lie. <laughs> you like my blouse? You mean my pajama top? <laughs> my kitty cat pajama top? Elizabeth Hanks, you you never played before and you want to know what it is. That's what I'm assuming you were responding to. There's a little delay, so sometimes I don't see what you say in the chat very quickly after what I say. So, um, But anyway, it, regardless of... If there's somebody that's just watching and not chatting that might want to know, basically, this is um, a mixed media mashup game. It's basically a mixed media game. If you've ever heard of mixed media, it's very it's it don't let it scare you. It doesn't really mean like I I would imagine that for some people that's never done mixed media before, the the name mixed media can sound a little like you know intimidating if you don't know what it is but basically it just means the mixture of me different medias that's all it means so basically it's a anything goes art form and it's really really easy it's one of the easiest art forms out there because there are no rules you can basically do anything you want um and what we do here is i have this deck of cards that i made and on each card, there's a prompt to do something on this paper. So basically it's a game, a card game, where I pick the card and whatever it says on the other side of the card, we do it. And however, you know, however the paper, we do it, you know, we pick 10 cards throughout the next, um, like two hours or so. Um, and 
whatever it says on the card, that's what we do on each card. And at the end, our paper might, you know, just comes out with a mishmash of stuff all over it. And it's just basically um, a relaxing way to do some art because you don't have to think. You're, you don't have to decide what goes down here because this will decide. The only thing you might have to decide, like, is if it says something about, oh, take paint and do this or whatever, you might have to decide on a color of paint. But that's about the extent of it. So it's easy in that sense. It's relaxing in that sense. Um, hi, T. Um, and it also, it will teach you how to do some layering, uh, you know, to, to further your mixed media. If you ever decide to do something like a mixed media canvas or mixed media art journal or something like that in the future, you'll kind of get the hang of doing different backgrounds. Because that's what basically this is. We're doing backgrounds um, in a sense. We're just doing a bunch of layers. Um, you wouldn't normally do 10 layers on one piece of paper for your background for a mixed media piece. You could, but you wouldn't normally. But this will just teach you to kind of see what stuff goes with what. So as you're layering different things, you'll decide, oh, I kind of like that over top of that and, you know, whatever. And it'll kind of just teach you. So it, sometimes it does it just subconsciously as, we're, as you play along week after week. I've seen people that have never touched mixed media before play this with us and then start to jump into mixed media and it's like you know they are very good at it you know they come up very you know they they it's it really does help you know what I mean it really makes them able to grasp what to use and not be afraid of putting something down on a white piece of paper or, or a white canvas or whatever um, you could do play along using anything um, I'm using watercolor paper but you can use a piece of cardstock, any kind of a little bit thicker paper, um, cardstock, chipboard. If you have a cereal box in your kitchen, you can take the cereal box and cut it up and it, you'll, it'll give you a big enough sheet if you turn it over. And if you cover it, if you don't have gesso, you can cover it with white paint to start. And that's perfectly fine. Um, hello, focus. Let me turn off the autofocus because it does that when I have white a white page up here but um yeah it doesn't take much at all to get started and it's definitely fun and a good way to get your feet wet in doing mixed media especially if you've never done anything or if you've done things but you want to further kind of maybe you're you know having trouble with you know, getting started sometimes and it takes you a long time. Well, this will help you kind of jump in a little easier when you go to do something on your own. Okay, awesome, Elizabeth. Hopefully you will work along with us next time because there is a prize to be won. And tonight, oh, let me go get it. It's on my desk. Tonight's prize, you'll get to spin the wheel and you'll get whatever's on the wheel, but you'll also get, in addition, you're going to get this stamp set, which is one of my favorite stamp sets. It's a mixed media kind of stamp set because it's got several little stamps that are great for making marks. You've seen probably seen me use it um, on occasion. I've used it because I really like this stamp set. So this is what will be up for grabs. Where am I? I'm in Tennessee. Where are you? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Teresa got really into mixed media and she's very good at it now. She has a channel too, by the way. You can watch her. I think she she also does mixed media mashup um, because there are some people that you can get the cards for free in our group. and, and Well, not the cards, but the, the prompts that go on the cards and then you can print them out and you can stick them onto your own cards. Um, some of mine are just black card stock. Some I've actually laminated from like a couple years ago when we started doing this. I had some that I laminated. Um, but there are a couple of folks who decided to um, 
on their own channel, they would ask me, oh, can I do it on my channel? I'm like, yeah, whatever you want. I don't care. The only I don't care if you use the cards and do it on your channel. All I ask is that you, you know, shout out where you got it from. Maybe put a link to my channel in the description or something of your video. That's fine by me. I don't care. I'm not, I never did this to make, do I sell what? Mixed media mashup? No, I, I don't. I don't sell them. They're for free. I don't want. I didn't want to make any money off of this. I wanted people to learn and to use this as a tool to help them with their mixed media. And also, without doing it, you know, if you do download the cards, um, what's also fun is a couple of things. And I, I've said this before, but it's been a really long time since I mentioned this. Some people, I don't know if they, if there's anybody that still does this, but there was a couple of people that would play along with us with their own cards and pick their own cards at the same time as we picked, I picked out my, our cards that you guys all follow. So some people like to follow their own cards. Other people will follow my cards. So it's up to you. Most people follow my cards, of course, but you know, and it's fine. You can, you could still be considered, you could still be in the um, drawing at the end, even if you use your own cards, as long as you take a picture of the cards that you used, uh, you know, to show that you used your own cards. So yes, you could totally do that too, if you wanted to, just for the heck of it. I don't know. I mean, most people do it with me because I mean, why not? Um, but, oh, the stamp set. No, it will be. It will be at some point. I haven't gotten it there yet. But no, it's not in my store yet. Um, past couple days I've been feeling kind of crappy. So I've been not moving quickly. <laughs> I don't get my shot till Tuesday. So because they're closed tomorrow. They're closed Friday. And then of course they're not open Saturday and Sunday. And then Monday I don't want to go because... I need to go to the creative reuse next week and I'm gonna, I don't want to go to Nashville twice. So I'm going to go on Tuesday when I go to get my shot. I'm also going to go to the creative reuse because, um, yeah, I don't want to have to go two days in a row down to Nashville if I don't have to. Well, thanks artsy fartsy. I'm definitely not a big YouTuber in any way. And, um, I, I just, I don't know. I just never felt like, I never felt like it was, I, I don't know. I just couldn't see myself selling, selling it. I mean, I think very way in the beginning, there was a few people that didn't have a printer and couldn't print out the prompts or they wanted me to make them a set of cards that are laminated. And so I did, I used to do that and I would only charge them like, you know, like, what it costs for a little bit of my time to make the card and laminate it with, you know what I mean? Um, oh, I just took that out of the thing. Uh oh, hold on. <laughs> Let me put that back. Hopefully where it belongs, but I don't think it's going to belong anywhere. I think I, I think I took, it was like the third or fourth card. I just grabbed it and pulled it completely out. Um, Yeah, when, how, to, how to be eligible to win at the end is you'll take a picture of what you're doing on your phone or whatever, and you'll post it in our group. Um, let me get you the group. You can join the group if you're new. Uh, nope, that's not it. But you can um, join the group right away, and we'll get you in there. But you, you, put the, you post it in the group with the, with the tagline of MMM number sign 111. And that's the group link I just put in. Um, I'm not stacking the deck. I'm trying to make sure I don't pull it apart. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure it went back to where it belongs. Uh, so how do you pick your cards for a mixed media? What do you mean, how do I pick them? I just, I have them right here. And I just pick one through, I just pick up to 10 and they'll be in the ticker you see up here. Um, I'll put them up there. Um, that's okay. If you don't have Facebook, just, you can just, um, email me at pinkpoodlecrafts at gmail.com. 
just email your picture at the end. I have another person who also doesn't have Facebook, so she just emails me at the end of the, instead of putting it on in the Facebook group, she'll just email it to me. Um, we are gonna use a timer today, since I don't even, I don't think there's anybody, um, I don't think there's any new people playing along with us. Uh, let's see. We're going to do We'll do 8 minutes. No, 1 10 last week, wasn't it? <laughs> I hope I got the right one. I think it was 1 10 last week. Well, somebody can go look. <laughs> Just look in my videos and see which one it was. <laughs> If it's one, if it's, if it was 111, I don't think it was. I think it was 110 last week. Um, hi, Tammy. Oh, are you asking Kathleen, how do I pick it? How do you pick the cards for a mixed media? Like if you were just playing by yourself, is that what you mean? How, how do you mean that? Because if you were just wanting to play, there's 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 also um, in the group as well in the file section. That's where you'll find the cards um, or the prompts. You could print them out to put on your own cards. You just cut them out and and paste them to a card. Um, but there's also a rules that you can use if you wanted to play by yourself or with a friend or with your like if you have a a daughter or a granddaughter or something. There are several people that have their kid play or their granddaughter, grandson, whatever, play along with us. There's a rule, there's a, there's a game rule though if you wanted to play it by yourself. Like if you just wanted to have a friend over and you guys wanted to play, you could play it doing it um, in the style of like a game. And there's a couple of like kind of ideas on there on how to do that if you wanted to. So it was 110, okay. All right, so we're going to get ready. If everybody is ready, we're going to get started. Get the party started. Yeah, that would be great. That would be a great thing to do, Ray. You can kind of, you know, pick. You don't have to obviously use all the cards. You can go through and pick and choose which ones would be the easiest to do with kids. And maybe pick like five cards instead of ten. You know what I mean? You could do something like that. Make it a little easier on them because ten cards might be a bit much for them. Hi, Ray. All right, so we're gonna set a timer and we're gonna do, what did I say? Eight minutes per card today. So you'll have eight minutes to do each one. I'm gonna pick the card and I'm gonna write it in the thing first in the ticker and then I'll hit the timer so I got the first one in my hand all right the first one is apply paint with a credit card or some sort of card or scraper tool I just say credit card because I know that most people have that. An old credit card lying around that doesn't work. The timer is set, so you have a little under eight minutes. Let's see. I need to grab some color. Let's do purple and teal. some colors and what if you have any questions about what each prompt means well you'll kind of figure that out too as we go um, Mm 
This one's about empty. And then I just, you could do it several different ways. You could put dots all over your page or you could put dots on your credit card and then swipe it. But this is how it gives you. Make sure you're using colors that aren't going to turn into mud when you put them on your page. Like you wouldn't want to use orange and green or red and green or yellow and purple. You definitely want to make sure you're using colors that will not turn into a big pile of muck unless you want that. I mean, that's up to you. Let's see. You can do this as well where you put a dot of each of like two, three or four colors next to each other and make like a little rainbow stripe of color like so. And you don't have to cover your entire page with each prompt because um, we're going to layer on top of each other. Sure, go ahead. Have fun. You have five minutes and 15 seconds to finish the first prompt. Yeah, and, and I would suggest, Elizabeth, to do it on a small piece of paper for your first time. Don't grab a big piece, get like a six by six, something like that to work on so that you're not overwhelming yourself because it could be a little overwhelming to do a large piece if you have never done it before. Um, I've done it a million times, so I can get through a big piece. Um, but otherwise, you'll find yourself getting frantic if it's, if it's too big of a piece. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Karen. See, so I'm good with that. I'm just going to hit it with my dryer. You got four minutes left. First prompt and you spilled your paint? Oh no. <laughs> Hopefully you didn't spill it onto rug, a carpet or anything. Or your clothing. The people that have a wrench by their name are mods. Um, they're moderators of the chat. So if anybody were to come in and start trouble, they can kick them out. Or if anybody gets over overexcited during mixed media mashup, we can say, get out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> But no, it's for like, you know, sometimes you get like those little kids who come in and start trouble. It's rare. We don't get very many, but on occasion we do. So that's what they're for. And they're there to make sure that anybody that's new feels welcome. And so, you know, somebody says hi to them and helps them if they have a question. If I can't answer it, the mods will answer it if they can. Hi, Lori. We'll just turn a bunch of paper over and dip it into the paint you spilled. <laughs> Two minutes left. I'm done with mine, with this prompt. 
Yeah, troll hunters, that's it. <laughs> Yeah, if I see it, obviously, but sometimes I'm into whatever I'm doing and I don't see it as quick as other people do. It's nice to have the backup. And I have a lot of mods so that if I'm doing, because some, some of the, um, if I do other live streams, some of the live streams, you know, some of them might not be available. So I used to have more mods actually, but I, took I got rid of some because it just became too much I had I thought um I just narrowed it down to those who are here the most and whatnot hi crafty kitty how you feeling miss Lori you healing up okay Hi, Aaron. You just now got notification? You mean through your email? Is it because you just checked it or because it now just came in? Sometimes your email is set to up only like refresh and update a cer every certain amount of time. So if you want to make sure you get your notifications in your email quicker, go into the settings. Time's up. Go into the settings. Hey, stop it. Go into the settings and um, of your email and you can make it so that it updates like every minute instead and your emails will come through. Because um, like I can go live and if your email had just, refre just updated like a minute before, it's not for 15 minutes it might not update. Usually 15 minutes. Oh, on YouTube? Okay, I don't know why it does that on YouTube. And you made sure that you hit the bell notification and everything? Hmm. I don't know why it did that then. Well, that's why, like, it's, it's, it's good to be in the... Check the group every now and again because um, I put the link in the group. On the, you know, on the Facebook group. Um, all right, let's pick the next card. Let me put it into the ticker. And the next card is collage. Collage. So you're going to take some paper of some sort and glue it down to your piece. Usually scrap paper works the best. Um, which mine looks like it's about to dump onto the floor, actually. Get over here. Here, I have some in this little, in this little tin. So I'll use some of that. Put it back here. I actually need to put this in that other tin. I can put that piece down. So this ain't overflowing. The whole dang thing should be in here, really, but...
And you can collage down anything you want. Don't don't be picky about it. It doesn't matter because it's gonna most get, mostly get all covered up for the most part. So I wouldn't fuss too much over it. Okay, Lori. Oh, that sucks. That's not good. Hi, artsy fartsy. What did you need? Sorry. Um, what is the Facebook? Oh, okay. You got it? Yeah, it's underneath of all the videos, so it'll be underneath this live stream. I need my dang glue. Where is it? There it is. I need my glue and I need a brush. a couple layers and just tear it apart because it's stuck together. It matches. Yeah, we're only on the second, is it the second card? Yeah, we're only on the second card, so. And you have eight, uh, six minutes and 40 seconds to do this prompt. Oh, right now. I might have made this batch a little too thick. I might have to water it down a little more. You can use scrap painting paper, scrap book pages, or book pages, whatever you got that'll that'll work. Let's put a few squirts of water in here and shake it up. Cause it is definitely too thick. it can it's the best it's gonna get what are you talking about you're old in here what does that mean in there, you sucker.
I save all the ones like if you punch something out of something colorful or whatever. I save all the scraps. That's why I wind up with way too many sometimes. But it's a good time to use them to as your collage pieces. Two minutes and 45 seconds left. Sticky, sticky, Willow's having a bad dream. She does that a lot. It's very weird. I think she dreams about Tigger attacking her because he's just a little snot bag for doing that. Let's see. Let's do this little piece. enough. And we have 20 seconds left. And I don't know what the cat where the cap went. Oh there it is. I always lose the caps to my glue. Alright. Oh yeah, you're making a chunky charm? Cool. I can't wait to see it. I hope you're going to post pictures of it. Alright, I need to dry mine, but I'll pull the next card and get that started first. I wasn't paying attention to how much time I was using. All right. I don't remember who made a per the paper doll that had brads. A lot of people make those. Who are you talking about? I've made them. Um... Are you looking for a specific person? Um, okay, next card is use blue. Use blue. So you can use blue to just paint on. 
Um, you can collage blue paper, you can stencil blue, you can use blue metallic, you can do anything you want that'll put some blue on your page. And we'll start the, let me, oh, let me put this in first and then I'll start the timer. started. I'm going to do this first. Dry it, obviously. Well, actually, <laughs> if I take some blue paint, maybe I'll do a metallic blue, and I put some over top of the um, over top of the glue that's wet, it'll give me um, a crackle effect since the glue is still wet. If I don't think there's enough glue on here potentially, but I could put a little more because you can get a crackle effect over top of glue if you, on wet glue, if you put paint. I don't know if metallic paint works very well, but maybe if I try a different color too. Here's a light blue. It'll show up better. So if I take some glue and put it down and keep it kind of thick and then immediately put, not have little things fall off onto the thing, immediately put some paint on over the wet glue. get some uh, crackles. Enough the blue that's on there. Hopefully, if I put enough glue, which I'm not sure I did. Four minutes and 30 seconds left. What's nice is it gives you a much bigger crackle, crackle than most of those crackle things do. See, you get more of a like a big crackle. This one didn't crackle because either A, I didn't put enough glue or metallics are just weird like that. So I'll try one more spot over here, but I'll do the different color. All right, 
right, Laurie? Enjoy your food. I thought it was dry. Bubble it up. Ooh, look at that. Hmm. Ooh. Breathing. Mm -hmm. Because the glue underneath this was still wet, so it and the paint on top was more dry. Mash it down; it'll give you some texture. See now you get like some cool wrinkles. Wrinkles. that by accident. 13 seconds. Okay. Alrighty. It's still wet in spots. That's all right. It'll dry as it, I just put a paint on top of a bunch of wet glue, so. Jody's joining the Blue Man group. Hi, Shelly. Next card, I will pick it and put it in the thing. Hopefully. Oh, 
All right. This one is um, use metallic paints. I will start the timer. You can use metallic paints to um, stencil with or just put them on. I kind of need to dry this a little more. <laughs> So let me do that for a minute. dry. Alright, let's see. Let me get a different color. green and purple and blue lime green let's see maybe I will maybe I will stencil a little bit here I'll use this stencil There we go. Let me move this out of the way so I can clean up my mess. My hands are disgusting. Everything is disgusting. Hi, Tina. Hi, Jackie. Three minutes and 45 seconds left. Maybe I'll do a different color now. Let's do some circles. We'll do some metallic blue. Oh, maybe I'll do metallic blue along with some metallic purple. If 
I already no you can use as little or as much as you want so if you only want to do once I mean I mean if you've already used metallic paint before I mean yeah you should use a little bit more now you know what I mean you can use you can go back in with some more metallic paint It won't hurt anything. I mean, you could just do a little bit. You don't have to do a whole lot. But. Where'd it go? Oh. And if there's something you, that you really don't want to do, um, because, you know, for whatever reason, you can skip a card. I wouldn't skip more than one, you know. Try not to skip more than one card. But you don't want, what you don't want to do is, you don't want to make it so that you're, you know, anything you do in the background as you go, don't worry about whether you cover something up or whatever, no matter what, you should just go right over top of it and obviously, like I said, you don't have to cover the whole page with every single prompt, but you know, don't, since it's a background, you know, you can add a focal point, you know, later on when you're done with the, when we're done with mixed media mashup and do, you know, after you're done doing your background, you know, you can add your, a focal point or something, but you should try to just not worry about keeping anything or you know, we don't want to, what we don't want to do is have it be minimalistic. You know, mixed media is not about being min minimalistic. It's about, you know, layers and, you know, all different textures and, and dimension and all that. So we want to, the purpose is to make it look random and not worry about what it really looks like in the end. 45 seconds left. So you know, especially for this particular game, it's all about just not worrying about what it turns out to be and just have fun with it. And whatever happens, happens. It's just a piece of paper. Time's up. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I try to encourage people to, you know, not be minimalistic with it and to just go hog wild and add a whole bunch of stuff and just play. I mean, it, there is no right or wrong with this. Um, the more cluttered, the better, I say, because for this particular thing, I just want everybody to just play and relax and have fun and kind of break out of that barrier of the need to make everything look perfect because I know that that happens with some people you know they have this tendency to oh you know I want mine to look the best I want it to look perfect I want it. and that can end up causing you to not be random and not really allow yourself to have some artistic freedom because you're struggling so much with everything being perfect and I want everybody to just do this as if it's I mean it's just a, just use it as a scrap paper and we're just having fun and we're just putting colors down there is no at the end I'm not going through and picking the best one that's not how this works I'm going through and it's completely random the drawing is completely random and none of us are you know looking to make a a Picasso out of this it's just fun it's just meant to relax and, you know, it will teach you different things as you're doing it, different things to layer, to not layer together. But we're not looking for any kind of perfection and we just want to make a mess and have a good time. All right, number, what are we at? Number six, number five, uh, household stamps. And household stamps, if you don't know, are 
basically something from around the house that you can stamp with that's not necessarily meant to be a stamp. So we all have crap around the house that we can use as a stamp. Like medicine bottles, the bottom of medicine bottles make good circles. Um, kitchen trivets or those pot things that you set your pots on, the silicone ones, they make great marks. Bubble wrap is my favorite. I love using bubble wrap. And then you just put some paint on your palette or your mat or whatever and dip your item in it and then just make random marks around your page. I've got big bubble wrap, little bubble wrap. I've got this to make circles with. It's like a roll from some tape or something, I don't remember. Or here's like a scotch tape one, and this makes like a double circle. I've got medicine bottle. I've got, of course, my trivet, which I'm gonna use it if I can find the smaller piece somewhere in here. What do I do with it? I can't seem to find my smaller one. Well, I do have this honeycomb one. Maybe it's, in, oh, it might be, in, that trivet thing might, might be in the bathroom. But, yeah, so you're just going to make marks with whatever you got. And, oh, did I start the timer? No, let's start the timer. yellow on here. I'm going to spread it out with my fingers a little bit. And just make some messy marks around your page with whatever you got you can use. If you don't have anything handy because this is your first time, then you can just use a, a, a spun um, a foam stamp or anything you got close by that'll work to make a mark. Um, and then you can, like I said, you can get a um, you can get a list of all the prompts in the uh, in the in our group in the file section so that you can look through and see kind of what you may or may not need to have handy for next time. You know, if there's something that you don't have potentially near you, near your desk, that you might have to search for. Flip-flops. Yeah, the bottoms of flip, a lot of flip-flops have some cool patterns. Let's do the, this one. Five minutes and 49 seconds. What color do I want to do? Maybe we'll do this one. There's a clump in there. Great. I had a baby wipe out. What'd I do with it? Oh, it's on the floor. No, that's not it. Oh, well. bubble wrap with 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 
with. Maybe I'll do that with some gesso. Smaller bubble wrap as well. And that'll be my last one. We've got three minutes left. What color? What color? What color? What color? Ow, I keep banging my hand. Maybe we'll use. I know. called permanent rose. I'm doing a multicolored one today. This is one that's like a little bag. If I stick my hand in it. a good old mess and have fun. I don't put any thought into it. I just start pouncing it down wherever it lands, it lands. One minute and 55 seconds. I'm going to use that time to dry this mess that I have. <laughs> Like wet paint all over my garbage can, like the outside of it, because <laughs> I sat here and made a mess, which keeps transferring on my fingers every time I touch my garbage can and put something in it. room. You're going to do it tomorrow. Awesome. Seven seconds left. All right. All right. I got a colorful mess going on. I love it. Lots of color. Thanks, Lori. You keep forgetting when it's Wednesday. <laughs> 
All right, for this one, well, let me write it in there first. You'll be able to see. What did I do? Oh, poop. I don't mean to do that. All right. Scoot, scoot. Scoot. Uh, <laughs> what have I done? Let me fix this mess that I made. I don't like the screen on this one. It's a pain in the ass to try to get this to, to work the way I want it to. All right. This keyboard is really terrible. I can't stand it. It's so hard to use because it's so small. And so when you try to type fast, it's like you hit 9,000 different keys. This, If this one, some people, most of you know what this is, but for, if you're new, basically what this prompt is, is you put, a, put some ink uh, or paint onto a piece of acetate like you know how we have acetate for the our stamps like our rubber stamps we have like a piece of acetate usually on top or bottom like this a piece of plastic you can use anything non-porous plastic you know um obviously acetate well this is plastic but you know what i mean something that you could put paint on to make like a print it's almost like jelly printing in this sort of way without a jelly plate and what we do is we put some paint on there and then flip it over and smoosh it onto the piece, onto your thing. So let me hit the timer. Um, I don't know what color I want to use. Maybe I'll use some of this. You could put more than one color if you want. And yeah, maybe I'll do this color. Usually do a couple different colors. It looks kind of cool. And then you can take a palette knife or your finger, it doesn't matter, and just kind of mix it around a little bit. Scrape it off onto there. And then just take it and like press it and make marks. Press it, move it, twist it, swipe it, and you can make some funky marks on your page. And then you can do it again if you want to, or just do it once. gloves when I have to pull this chair in and the wheels go across the carpet so well. <laughs> Hopefully in the next couple of weeks I'm going to get a 
thing for under my chair. I just need to use my finger and go pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. Pew pew pew. Pew 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 pew. Gotta use the sound effects or else it's not official. Fun. And where she goes. And it starts to get harder and harder to get any paint down. Cool. Nice hot mess. Love it. And I just got it on my mouse. It's, how, does, how do I end up doing that like every time? Oh my god. It's like inside the trackball now. It's great. Great. Now I gotta clean that mess up. Got three minutes and 45 seconds left. I got all kinds of texture going on here. I can feel it. <laughs> all kinds of mess, but I love it. And I could see everything, even from the very starting things that I put down. I could see the paper. I could see some of the color that I put down. I could see every layer, maybe not, you know, in big pieces, but I can see it in the background. It makes it interesting. Well, that's okay, Nina. I, I don't say hi to everybody either. Mostly because I don't see them come in. I didn't say hi to you. So you don't have to say hi to me. Just kidding. <laughs> Can you have what? Can you have this? Well, you can have uh, maybe an ATC from it, but I have to cut it up and use it for ATCs. That's what I do. 
I'm going to cut it up and use it for ATCs that will go to my the people that when people buy stuff from my Zibit store or from the auctions or whatever, I put pieces of it in. But you can make one of your own. <laughs> you guys can take like a tiny little little corner and split it. <laughs> you got seven seconds. Four, three, two, one. And mine's still wet. Wait, it's still a little wet. That's all right. Shush. See what we're starting here? No, you can't have a small piece. <laughs> you guys can play along and make your own. All right. Next. Well, then keep playing until it does. You need to you need to keep doing more and more until it does. That's all if that's what you want. Just do what I do. Make sure you put everything down in a big mess. And then it'll come out that way. All right, the next card. Add paint or ink splatters or drips. Let me put it on there. Number seven, um, starting the clock. Um, I'm going to add, hmm, let me grab a color. some of this. That's not true, Lori. I've given you one. You've only bought auction stuff a couple times. I know I've at least put one in. Either that or you've gotten a copy of the entire page. If I didn't have any ATCs, then that could be the reason. But I'm sure I've given you one at some point. Take the pee out of it. <laughs> yeah, take the pee out of it. Well, there was... I. I had a typo and I put a P in the middle of the word or. All right. Um, I can't find my thing. I'll just use this. talking about Sherry. You talking about tea? No, she didn't change it as far as I know. She was here. I don't know if she's still here. I'm going to 
that it all over my room, but that's all right. splattered all over me and all over my room desk and whatnot it's everywhere hi Janie there you are I wonder where you were earlier and I assume that you might have been at your friend's help, house helping her because I'm I was on earlier today than normal and, and it's was earlier for you even than it was for me, so Oh, were you not were you around still? I would have messaged you, but I actually just assumed that you were at your um, friend's house. I said, where's Janie? Oh, she might be at her friend's house. <laughs> That's what I figured. All right. A nice splattery, splattery goodness. We got three minutes and 25 seconds. I actually need to take that time to go get a drink, so I'll be right back. Need my cup. Okay. Is that a banana in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? That's a big banana. Look at that damn thing. It may not look it on camera, but it really is huge. You like me some big bananas. The small ones don't do a good job. Your phone, when you say great, it wants to say breastfeed? What the hell? <laughs> I'm already here, Lala. I can see what you're saying. I know what you're up to. 
Don't think I don't know. I have eyes everywhere. Hi, Carla. Hi, Annette. Hi, JD. These are people I didn't see come in early. I don't know when you came in, but I didn't see it. Oh, it's too big of a damn banana. I can't even eat the rest. I'm gonna put it in this bag. I don't want to throw it in my craft garbage. So for now it'll go in a plastic bag until I go back out to the kitchen. All right. Mine is still, my, my splatters are still wet. Okay, so how many cards we got left? Two? All right, let's pick the next one. Mm, I haven't had this one in a really long time. You know why? Because I had lost this card. And when I was cleaning out stuff, I found it. Let's see. I have to fix this every time. Was it? This one is stencil through a piece of lace. Now, if you don't have a piece of lace you can stencil through, just stencil through a stencil. Just substitute it with something else, even if you've already used stencils already. It doesn't matter, you can use a little more. I'm gonna go grab myself a piece of lace because I don't have it right here, so I'll be right back. And then I'll set the alarm. So I'll give you a chance to go grab some lace if you need to because I know that we haven't used that card in a long time and you guys might not have lace near you either. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, I got a piece of lace that I cut off of another piece of lace. I'm gonna cut a piece of it off. It's a good way to make yourself a colored piece of lace. Now I just need my sponge. Oh, let me press the button on the thing. Duh. Oops, get over there. Okay. The timer has been started. Um. All 
body. Good enough. Let's see. Let's add a light color. Or maybe add black. Let's add some black for fun. What? Why am I smart? What happened? careful because it'll move a little bit. Let's see, you get some cool pattern. You can't see. You get some cool patterns. The smaller the piece, the easier it is to hold on to. This one might be too big. You can also clamp it if you've got a couple clothes pins. If it's near the, and you want it, you know, do it near the edge. I think I'm being too heavy handed with the paint. I'm not getting any paint because I'm having a hard time holding this one down. This is a thin piece of lace. I should have used a little bit of a thicker piece, but that's okay. That's all right. Marks are marks. Who cares? Who cares? Usually I do use a thicker piece of lace. Might be better just to... Nope, that ain't doing it either. <laughs> yep. This piece of lace was not a good idea. This one is crap. I have a better piece that I usually use, but I couldn't find it. And so I just grabbed this because this was the best I could come up with without having to roam around. So it'll do. Ugh. That's all right. It'll do. I don't care. A thicker piece of lace works better. That one's way too thin. Way too thin. But that's all right, because when I cut this up, it ain't going to matter at all. <laughs> and 50 seconds left. I'm not doing any more with that. So that is that. Let me run to the bathroom while I've got a second, because I got to go. I'll be right back.
All right, you got 30 seconds left. Five seconds. Your lace didn't work either. It works better with thicker lace. You just gotta you can't be heavy handed with the with the paint either. All right, and then we have our number 10 card. All right. Oh, that was number eight, the number nine card, sorry. Oh, number nine then. I thought it was number ten. Hmm. Some texture paste. Texture paste. I'm gonna move this out of the way so I can function. Use a stencil and some texture paste. If you don't have texture paste, if you have a thick paint, you can use that. Um, I have some of this texture paste here. In, why well, blue? Or something. I have colored texture paste. You can use that. Colored texture paste. You can color your texture paste by adding something to it. Whether you can you can add some brushos to it. That'll color it. You can add pretty much anything. I'm gonna go back in with some more circles. You can add a little bit of paint into it, add a little, a couple drops of ink into it, as long as you don't water it down too much. Um, We're gonna fix our fix my spots that I made black that came out just like blobs. See now you can repair it with the texture paste over top. See? You can fix it and make it not so not so much. Pink in there too. Why not?
them together. Oh, we should do a mix up here too. A little mix up here. You about to get a storm, Dana? Well, hopefully it's not a, a bad storm. I can't pick it up, it's stuck. I get suction cup to the table, to the glass. I have to set the timer, so I set it for 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Bye. Bye.
minute and 15 seconds left. Pretty good. It's pretty dry. Looks like Pepto his old. You mean Pepto Bismol? Yeah. <laughs> Add a little bit, add a couple of drops of blue, it'll look like, it'll look more purple. Jim Beam Brewery burned up. Oh, that sucks. It exploded? Huh. Where's that at? Thanks. Thank you, ladies. What a hot mess. All right. We have one more card. And as soon as you're done with the 10th card, we will pick um, three optional cards just to use in case you feel like you need a little extra something or, um, and you can use, you know, you don't have to use all of them, but you can, you don't have to use any of them if you don't want to. They're just there in case you need it. But um, if you don't, if you don't think you're going to use any of those, you could just, as soon as we're done with this prompt, you can. Um, post your picture in the group and this one is paint and ink sprays so if you wanted to I'm actually probably gonna skip this one um, because I'm not gonna be spraying anything on well actually mm, I might I don't know I might use my paint or ink sprays Fireworks are about to get started here. Everybody starts fireworks the day before and a million days after. I might take some white ink spray and see what'll happen. Put some stars. So I'd have to use some scrap paper to cover where I don't want the ink to go. So if I want it to go right here, put a piece there. And put a piece there. Oh yeah, we heard some last month, big time, all June, end of June. I got some white stars. Maybe I'll do a little bit here. I think that's all I'm going to do with that. That is it. Oh. That is it. Go back where they belong. Gotta 
be Honora, don't you? Bye, Jamie. Thanks for coming in. No, I didn't. Um, I'm getting it on Tuesday. I am listening, Lori. I don't need your smart ass remarks. Don't forget, there is a lag. When you type it, it takes me up to a minute to see it. So, most of the time around 30 seconds, 45 seconds. So, I don't always see it exactly when you say it. Miss Lori. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah, oh, that's right. You weren't in there. And I said that. <laughs> yeah, that's why I feel kind of miserable. Sometimes when it wears off, it my arthritis like hates me and it makes me feel really tired and crappy and yucky. And this is one of those times. Other times it wears off and it's not quite as bad. But this time I notice it really easily. Thanks, Mina. No, that would make it worse. Yeah, like I'm not even doing an after stream today because I just don't feel, I don't feel up to it. I'm just going to lay down, I think. It's all right. I'll be, I'll live. I'll live. You got two minutes and 10 seconds left. Thanks, Lori. It's a colorful mess, and I like colorful messes. I actually thought I was going to feel better as I, you know, did something, you know, by coming on or whatever, but it didn't really help. <laughs> I tried, but it didn't help. You got one minute and five seconds to finish up your spraying. Or whatever you were doing. Well, they're not always going to be the same. And they shouldn't, really. You know. You'll learn something every time, though. What you like, what you don't like, with what. 
and how. Thanks, Jody. And T. And Janie and everyone. Awesome, Tamara. Two seconds, one second, zero seconds. All right. Now I'm gonna pick the optional cards. And like I said, you don't have to do these. They are completely optional. You can pick to do one or you can do all three. It's up to you. Up to you. And that would be number 11. And that is to use yellow. Number 12 is to stencil. is to add dots and that is it so if you decide not to use any of those optionals you can just put your picture up into the group now or if you're gonna do it through email send it to me in email um, which I'm not gonna do anymore on mine now there are people that don't do their mixed media mashups with us and they will do it during the week and put it up in the group during the week prior to the following Wednesday. So in other words, prior to today, they put up last week's. And those people will be in a separate drawing, which I'm going to do right now. Um, let me grab my cup and the paper I have. Hold on. And I already went through right before we started and got everybody's that finished theirs during the week written down. So I can just put those in the cup and we'll draw those. Now keep in mind this is for last week. So everybody, everybody gets a second chance to win. So for the people that worked on theirs tonight, you'll be left in the cup. If you don't win tonight, you'll be left in the cup and you'll get a second chance to win when I do this type of drawing next week as well. So you get two chances to win if you participate, you know, with us on the night. Otherwise, as long as you finish it before next week, you get... Um, one chance to win and make sure when you post your picture you put MMM number sign 111 111 so that I know which one it is when I go to go through and put the other names in a cup yeah I hope they're not Denise I hope so too because it's gonna drive me nuts because I already hear some off in the distance but So this is last week. All right, let's get, I just need one. Miss Tanya, Miss Tanya Jernigan, Jernigan, Jernigan. Um, I'm gonna find the paper because uh, I stuck it, there it is. Miss Tanya, you win an envelope of goodies. If I could find my pen, well, that would be great. Congrats, Miss Tanya. Did I not write down on the... Why does my pen never work? 
Let's see if this will work. And I didn't write down who won. None of my damn pens work. So much fun. I hate that pen. It's very scratchy. Do I have a pen that works for crying out loud? Just one pen without me going crazy. There we go. How did I not write down last week's winner? Where is that at? Because I should have it in the thing over here. Hopefully, if not, I'm going to have to get it and write it down. Because I don't remember who won last week. <laughs> that was weird. You get, um, because they spun the wheel. Does anybody remember who won last week? And what they spun? I'll have to find out. I have it written down on their paper. I just don't, I think I brought the papers over already. All right, well, it doesn't matter right now. Okay. about that later all right so if you have yours posted um, if you're having trouble getting it posted for whatever reason make sure you say something in the chat so that one of the mods can let me know and then if you are having trouble for whatever reason and you end up fixing that problem and it's up make sure you say that in the chat as well so that the, so that the mods are updated that, that you have the problem fixed because while I'm looking at the things and writing down the names, I can't see the chat. So I'm going to depend on you. Make sure that you're telling somebody in the chat what's going on so that I don't skip you. Because that's important. Because I have people all the time that right before I'm ready to make the drawing, they'll finally say, oh, wait, mine's not up. When I said four or five times, if you don't have yours up yet, make sure you say something in the chat. Because I... You know, make sure that you're opening your mouth and saying, hey, in all caps, I, don't, I can't get mine posted or it's taking longer or something so that we know what's going on. That's all right, Janie. Don't worry about it. I have it written down somewhere on my, on, that little container is on my desk. Um, I'm going to check my email first for those who sent it via email. Um, the girl that started today, um, what was her name? Dang it. The one that, that did it for the first time with us today. Are you still in here? Were you sent, somebody said they were sending it to me through email besides Laura. Hi, Danielle. All right, let me see. Okay, I don't have any emails yet. I haven't seen an email from her, Karen. But I already did that drawing, so. But I didn't see an email from her. I have no email mails from her. But if she's going to do it, look, if she's going to do it during the week, she needs to really send it to me on Facebook or else it might not get shown. I can't guarantee that I'm going to see it. So have her make sure she posts it to the group. Teach her how to do that. Um, walk her through it on the phone, something, so that she knows how to do it. All 
All right, I'm going to look on in the group and when you guys get them posted, I'll come back to the email in a minute. So if, you, if you're not finished with yours, take a picture of it anyway and put it up now. Don't, don't finish it and, you know, like if you only have one more little thing to do or whatever. I mean, if you're really behind, then unfortunately, no. But if you, you know, you're still on the last thing or on one of the optionals, take your picture now and then continue working on it so that, you know, <coughs> so that I can get it counted and done with because I'm not feeling well enough to sit here for 20 minutes and wait for everybody to get theirs posted. <laughs> not today. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, all right, so I'm going to put my screen on so you can see what I see as I go through. If it'll load, that would be great. Miss Laura. Awesome job, Miss Laura. Very nice. I love that. Very nice, very nice. And Miss Linda, very nice. Love that. I put a heart on yours, right? Yeah. Love that. I like your green drips. Very cool. Miss Christine. Ooh, pretty Miss Christine. Beautiful, very pretty, very pretty. John, great job, John. Yours looks awesome. Very good. I love it. Miss Sarah. Miss Sarah does a good job. Awesome job, Miss Sarah. Miss Bima. She has little hurricanes on hers. Doesn't it look like the hurricane picture that they always put on the Doppler radar, kind of? <laughs> Very cool. Miss Tina. Very pretty, Miss Tina. Very pretty. I like your colors. Oranges and yellows. Very pretty. Miss Kathy. Ooh, yours is pretty. You've got, is that a peacock? Ooh, pretty. She put texture paste through a stencil with a peacock. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Looks like everybody's got lots of yummy um, dimension on theirs. Miss Tammy. Ooh, really pretty, Miss Tammy. Tammy's pretty. Very pretty. Come on. Oh, here we go again. Stop it. Miss Linda. Gorgeous, Miss Linda. Very pretty. And Miss Danielle, ooh, she's got unicorns on hers. Beautiful, very pretty. I love how colorful it is. Gorgeous, ooh, Miss Teresa's. She's got confetti on hers, very pretty. Beautiful. I love all that little confettis. Very pretty. And Miss Susan. Ooh, yours is very bright and cheery. Gorgeous. Love that. All right. And Miss Barbara. Ooh, pretty Barbara. Yours is really pretty. Miss 
Very pretty. I like that stencil. Very pretty. That looks familiar. Is that a stencil that, like, out of my store? Kind of? I don't know. It looks like it. Very pretty. Miss Jody Ann. Ooh, yours is pretty with the butterflies. It's gorgeous butterflies. Oh, that's right. Those are from last week. Um, that's from last week. Okay. Let's go up and refresh. I hear the fireworks. They're already starting and it's not even completely dark out. We got Miss Barbara's and we got Miss Sarah's. We got Miss Linda's and we got Danielle's. We got Laura's. We got Christine's. And we got, we don't have Jackie's. Miss Jackie. Beautiful job. Beautiful. Very pretty. Very pretty. Ooh, Miss Tanya. Very pretty, Miss Tanya. Gorgeous. Miss Tina and Jeanette. Very pretty, Miss Jeanette. I love the flowers. Gorgeous. Very pretty. We got Miss Pima's and Miss Tammy's and John's and Linda's. Alright, I don't think we need to go down any further because there's going to be up here. And we'll refresh again if I can get my mouse to cooperate. Miss Marion. Very pretty, Miss Marion. Oh, that's a cool picture. Is that from a napkin or just like a paper? Very pretty. Very pretty. Beautiful. Okay, I'll refresh again and then I'll check with anybody that make sure you're letting us know if you haven't gotten your picture up yet because in a second I'm going to come back to the chat and see if there's any issues. Otherwise, I think I got everybody except for my emails, which I have not checked yet. So I'm going to do that next actually. Yeah, I'll check the emails now. So give me a second to do that. Okay. And let's see. I see Laura's. Um, who was the person that was new? Did you get yours up? Oh, that's right. It was Millie. Oh, thanks, Janie. Did you did you go there and check, Janie? To the last one? I mean, yeah. Whoever was new that was playing along with us, I want to make sure that she got yours up so whoever you are please say something in the chat that you did or didn't get yours up yet well Tanya you're still going to go in it because you can still win you can't win you could still win because you that was a different one Tanya trust me you're fine 
If you win tonight, you'll still win because that one that you just won was not one that couldn't be counted. I, I can't explain it right now because, like, <laughs> I feel like crap, so. Um, JD, you got yours posted? Well, you should have told me earlier that you were having problems because I almost skipped you. Okay, let me check Laura's first. Um, there's Miss Laura's. Very pretty. Gorgeous. Very metallic y and pretty. Sorry, my, your screen might have been black because I probably hit the wrong thing. Sorry. Um, okay, so the only person I need is, is JD then, right? Okay, I got hers pulled up. Very cool, JD. I love your ferret stamp. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, wherever you would find a ferret stamp. <laughs> That's so cute. Very cute. Everybody did a really good job this week. I love that little ferret. That's cute. Very cute. I think that's it. Um... Oh, wait, let me put a heart. Duh. Um, don't see anything else. Oh, here's one. Anne. There you go. You almost got skipped, lady. <laughs> awesome job, Anne. I'm glad that you, you had fun doing it. Very nice. Very nice. You gotta let me know though if you're if you're ever having problems getting it up there and I'm um, coming to the end. Make sure you say something. Otherwise, you might get skipped. All right. So I'm assuming that there's nobody else, and then I got everybody. Everybody did a great job, as usual. And thank you to our new people for participating. Whoever wins will get to spin the wheel. No, I'm, I'm not going to be coming back on again tonight just because I, I'm not feeling great. And I, I just want to lay down and go to bed early today. Whoa, I just dropped one on the ground. Get back here. Why'd you end up so thick? Get over here. You don't need to be that thick. Pick them 
up. It's like my hands don't want to work today. Use my lick my finger and then I can go like that. Whoa. Come on now. Get back here. All right. That's all right. Millie won from last week. And then also Tanya won from last week. Is it raining? Oh, I thought I heard rain. Never mind. All right, so tonight's winner, um, provided that you didn't win the main one last week, which would be either, or the last, how long did we say? Three months? So Millie, there's certain people that I have, damn it. You can win the, the weekly one, but you can't win this one. The main one. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna pick somebody. I'm gonna look and make sure they're not somebody that's won. Which you know, I'm pretty sure this person has not won in a while. Miss Barbara. Barbara. Come on, focus, jackass. It's not gonna focus, but it's Barbara. Or it's whited out. There we go, Barbara. And you have not won in a while, so you're good. So, Miss Barbara gets to spin the wheel. She automatically wins the stamp set. And then she gets whatever we spin the wheel. Let me get that situated real quick. it being weird there it is okay so you'll win one of those things along with your stamp set what the hell what is this doing why why are you doing this there we go okay we're spinning the wheel that thing's a pain in my butt It is on graphics, so you get to win um, some graphics on top of your stamp set. So you will win some graphics on top of your stamp set. Congrats, Miss Barbara. I came on a little earlier today because I got up earlier today, but, and I was going to stay on, um, and, and, or, you know, come back on and do another stream, but I'm not feeling well enough. I'm really tired. So I will see you guys on Facebook. Well, I'll see some of you that are in my Patreon on Friday. And otherwise, I will see you next week um, for Mixed Media Mashup. And yeah, if you're not one of my Patreon members, you can look underneath of the video, live stream, whatever, for my Patreon link and check that out if you're interested in catching my other live streams and classes as well. So I will talk to you guys later. Poodle Pack out. Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good
good boy.